Hello grade 10s and welcome to this lesson on scale. We will look at number and bar scales and how they are used to represent things from the real world in an accurate way. If you are asked to draw a tree in your workbook, do you draw the tree the same size as the real tree in the garden? I hope your answer is no. If you were to do this, you would have to have a workbook that was bigger than a house. Imagine the size of your school bag. The height of the tree in the street is equal to 10 meters. To draw it in a smaller space, we would need to draw a smaller representation of it. This process or calculation of size is done using the measurement called scale. Conversely, when we must draw an object that is very small, like a flea, we draw it much bigger than a real life-sized flea so we can see all the details. Scale is a comparison of measurements between a real object and the representation or drawing of the object. If we look at the flea and its drawing, the scale is 5 to 1. This means that the drawing or representation is five times bigger than the real flea. It also means that every five millimeters on the drawing represents one millimeter on the real flea. This is a numbered scale and is always expressed as a ratio. Both of the measurements must be in the same units. We can't have the measurements of the drawing in centimeters and the real life measurements in meters. We also write the measurement of the representation first and then the real life measurement. Let's write the relationship between the drawing and the tree in a ratio. The drawing is 10 centimeters and the tree is 10 meters. We now need to write both measurements in the same units. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. This makes the ratio 10 to 1000. Now we need to simplify the ratio as far as possible. We do this by dividing both numbers by 10. This gives a simplified ratio of 1 to 100. Did you notice that we stopped writing down the units of measurement? Once we've changed them to the same units, we don't need to write the units anymore. Let's practice this some more. We are asked to draw a fence in your workbook using the scale of 1 to 80. In real life, the fence is 7,6 meters. To do this drawing, we first need to calculate the length of the fence in the drawing. First step is to write down the ratio, 1 to 80. Now we write down the real length of the fence, 7,6 meters. Let's write this measurement as centimeters. This will make it easier to draw later. Multiply 7,6 by 100 and this will give us 760 centimeters. The scale tells us that the drawing needs to be 80 times smaller than the real drawing. We divide 760 by 80 which gives us 9,5 centimeters. This means that when we draw the fence, we should make it 9,5 centimeters long. Let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of using a number scale. Number scales are highly accurate and easy to use in calculations. However, it is difficult to estimate distance using a number scale. This brings us to the bar scale. This is placed on maps to help with estimation of distance. A bar scale, also called a graphic scale, is represented like a ruler on a map or diagram. It is used to convert distances on a map to actual distances on the ground. It's important to be able to estimate using a bar scale. Suppose you needed to estimate the distance between Cape Town and Morso Bay. By visualization, you could estimate that the distance is approximately 400 kilometers. To confirm this, you could either use a ruler or a piece of string. Let's practice using a piece of string with a bar scale to measure distance. 
Let's measure the distance along the coast between Cape Town and Mosso Bay. We put the end of the string on Cape Town and wrap it around the edge of the coast until Mosso Bay. Now we put the string against the bar scale and find that this distance is roughly 500 kilometers. Let's go through the advantages and disadvantages of using this scale. It is easy to estimate distance or length on a map. The scale is reduced or enlarged with the map when it is reduced or enlarged. More than one unit of length can be displayed on the same scale. The most prominent disadvantages of a bar scale is that if you have to measure twisted roads, it can be very time consuming. It is more suitable for measuring as the crow flies. In other words, straight distances. This brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the task for this section in the Maps, Plans and Models Tasks video. You will also be able to learn more on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.